Today is Thursday, May 1, 2014. Sunrise this morning was at 5.44 a.m. The sun will set at 7.54 p.m. Length of daylight hours today will be 14 hours, 9 minutes of visible light, 15 hours, 12 minutes. Tomorrow's daylight will persist 2 minutes, 34 seconds longer than today's. The waxing crescent moon, 2.3 days old with 6% illumination, rose at 6.44 a.m. and will set at 9.30 p.m. At noon, the moon will pass above Rutland City at 245,141 miles distant from the center of planet Earth. The moon today will appear within the third zodiacal designation, Gemini, the twins. Born today with the sun in Taurus, happy birthday movie director Wes Anderson is 45, singer-songwriter Ray Parker Jr., who still ain't afraid of no ghosts, is 60. On this day in 1941, the Orson Welles picture Citizen Kane opens in New York City, and in 1898, on Manila Bay in the Philippine Islands, Commodore George Dewey gives the command, you may fire when you are ready, Gridley, as an American naval force destroys a Spanish squadron in Manila Bay during the Spanish-American War, beginning a half-century colonial occupation of that island nation. In music history, on this day, Little Willie John recorded Fever, And in 1942, the U.S. government seizes the nation's jukebox factories and puts them to work making war material. Travel is fatal to prejudice, bigotry, and narrow-mindedness, and many of our people need it sorely on these accounts. Broad, wholesome, charitable views of men and things cannot be acquired by vegetating in one little corner of the earth all one's lifetime. Mark Twain under cloudy, rain-moistened skies in downtown Rutland with a ceiling of 3,500 to 9,500 feet and overcast at 11,000 feet, high temperature today is predicted to reach 67 degrees on the Fahrenheit scale and 90% chance of precipitation is predicted also with south winds 10 to 15 miles per hour. Tonight, showers early then partly cloudy overnight with winds west-southwest 5 to 10 miles per hour, a 50% chance of precipitation, an overnight low of 40 degrees. Pollen count today is 3.70 out of 12. Highest temperature in the U.S. on Tuesday was 101 degrees at North Island Naval Air Station, California. That's San Diego Bay. Lowest temperature was 14 degrees at Craig, Colorado. As his career develops, big Hollywood movie star Brock Hudson and his agent Henry Wilson keep his secret life out of the headlines. In 1955, the notoriously Zrag Confidential magazine threatens to publish an expose about Brock Hudson's secret life and they have pictures to prove it. Henry Wilson Stores this by trading information about his two other clients. Rory Calhoun, who as a teenager has a history as a juvenile delinquent, and Tab Hunter, whose secret life is easily as sensational as Brock Hudson, if not more so. Henry Wilson throws Calhoun and Hunter under the onrushing bus. Soon after the magazine threat on November 9, 1955, Brock Hudson marries Henry Wilson's secretary, Phyllis Gates, in Santa Barbara, California, after he finishes shooting big and enormous movie Giant. The huge and big movie luminaries Elizabeth Taylor and James Dean press coverage of the wedding quotes Rock Hudson a saying when I count my blessings my marriage tops the list the happy couple separates in 1957 Phyllis Gates files for divorce after three years in April 1958 citing mental cruelty Rock Hudson does not contest the divorce and Phyllis Gates receives alimony of $250 a week for 10 years after her death on January 6 2006 the advocate magazine publishes a story by Henry Wilson biographer claiming that Phyllis Gates has a secret life of her own throughout her public life. Phyllis Gates variously claims that she doesn't know about Brock Hudson attempt to deceive the public with his sham marriage and conversely she knows from the beginning that Brock Hudson secret life is a secret. Phyllis Gates BTW never remarries. Believe it or don't. It's your choice. I don't care. Incoming asteroids slam into Earth's atmosphere surprisingly often, some of them as powerful as nuclear bombs, a new time-lapse video illustrates. The B612 Foundation, a nonprofit founded by three NASA astronauts, released a video last week in honor of Earth Day and to expose the threat asteroids pose to life on Earth. 
The Foundation's CEO and former shuttle pilot Dr. Ed Liu said while most large asteroids with the potential to destroy an entire country or continent have been detected, fewer than 10,000 of the more than a million dangerous asteroids with the potential to destroy an entire major metropolitan area have been found by all existing space and terrestrially operated observatories. Between 2000 and 2013, network data detected 26 asteroid explosions on Earth, ranging in energy from 1 to 600 kilotons. To put that into perspective, the atomic bomb destroyed Hiroshima in 1945, exploded with an energy impact 15 kilotons. This has been today's Weather Minute. I'm Richard Alcott.